Hi Leo, this is a general love reading for mid-June 2021 and it is for your Sun, Moon, Rising and our Venus signs and it is general so it's not going to be for all of you. That's okay, you can totally check out one of your other signs or you can book a personal reading. Also, the roles can be reversed because this reading is general. Alright, let's see what is going on with Leo mid-June. All right, we have reinvention. Okay. So definitely somebody is feeling like they're stripping away the old and reinventing themselves from the beginning. Possibly even feeling like you are finding new aspects to yourself, just really trying to become who you want to be is the way it's coming through. Okay, now this could be for you or it could be with somebody else that you are involved with. So let's see, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And if you like this doll that I have here on the desk, you can find the Etsy shop link in the description box. Okay, Leo, let's see. For you, we have the Ace of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, and oh, these cards stick together. Come on. Okay, there we go. And the Six of Cups. Okay, so I feel like you're thinking about taking some kind of action but there might be a little bit of trying to really decide, trying to find out how, trying to find your balance, especially when it comes to, to a particular connection. And it possibly could be trying to decide whether you want to go back to a connection from your past or with the person you've been dealing with here. So I feel like there may have been a slight break or maybe a long separation, could be either or. But either way, you're trying to kind of, you're going back and forth between whether or not you should take some kind of action towards going back to that. Let's see for them, the Hermit, the Six of Pentacles, and the Magician. Okay, so this person seems to be a little bit withdrawn, maybe a little bit um, closed off to their own self. This is because they're doing a lot of deep thinking. Um, they're trying to figure something out here, especially when it comes to where they're giving their attention. Um, where is it that they are exerting energy? How much energy are they receiving? some kind of a back and forth connection here with with somebody it could be with you it could be with somebody else i don't know but whatever this is whatever the situation with them they're trying to actually find a way to bring what they want into reality they're trying to manifest something here and i do feel like whatever this is that they're trying to manifest it's coming from a place of of a deeper knowing um they're really trying to think things true through and find some kind of balance so for the near future for you we have the empress for them the seven of cups and mutually we have the king of cups and a message here for you is the knight of swords okay so I do see you really finding what it is that you want to do here, okay? With the Empress being here, you're really standing in your power. In the near future for them, um, there might still be a little bit of trying to weigh out certain options, trying to decide between different options or trying to find um, the right path for them. We'll see, however, either way, there is a lot of love here, okay, for the both of you with the King of Cups. I do see that mutually there is going to be some kind of, I mean, I don't wanna say a reconnection, okay, if you're in separation, but I do see that there's going to be a lot of love from their side as well as from your side, okay? Having the King of Cups as the mutual um, potential here, okay, for the future. 
So you might be feeling this, you're gonna, it's like you're feeling love for them, they're feeling love for you as if there's no, there's no like resentment, okay, if that has been an issue. Okay, so with the Knight of Swords being the message here, that's action. That's taking action. Let's, and not only action, this is action based on truth, based on authenticity. Also speaking your truth. And I feel like that's like that's like the second time we're getting that message because we also have the Ace of Swords beginning your reading here, which I feel this is you trying to find your authenticity, who you really are. So that reinvention could even be you for your own self. So let's actually clarify that Ace of Swords. A lot of swords. I feel like Aries had a lot of swords as well, so I wouldn't be surprised if you are dealing with um, an air sign. Definitely let me know in the comments. So King of Swords and the Four of Swords, clarifying the Ace of Swords. I feel like there's something that you, you're trying to recover from. That's some action that you're taking. Whatever it is that you are recovering from, you're doing that in a way where it's bringing about healing, but it is also helping you to become more aware of something within your own self. You are becoming um, more you, if that makes any sense. So you're healing something. You're recovering from a connection. And it might not even be from a connection. It could be anything, actually. But you're doing so with a lot of determinism. It's like you're determined to heal something within yourself that will bring about the real you. It's like you want to feel like you again. Because I feel like you may have lost a bit of that. Let's see the Two of Pentacles. The Knight of Wands and the Hanged Man. Yeah, see, so you're you're juggling a little bit here, back and forth between either to take action or to stay put. <laughs> um, plain and simple. Let me see the Six of Cups. The Page of Swords and the World. Yeah, so here's the thing. This is why you're juggling back and forth, um, trying to decide whether you should go back to a connection or, you know, um, involve yourself again in some way or interact again in some way. I feel like you feel like this is a cycle maybe that repeats itself or you feel like it should be done. You feel like this cycle should be over or a certain cycle within this connection should be over. And so I feel like on the one hand, even though you want to go in that direction because you might be feeling some nostalgia, um, on the other hand, it's like you, you don't want to go back to repeating something that that you may have moved on from. You might feel like it's going against this new reinvention that you're going through. But let's see for them. Let's clarify the Hermit. The Seven of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. Okay, so they're going through something very difficult here that they are trying to really sort out. I feel like they are taking some time. Um, if if it felt to you like this person had given up on whatever it is that they're working towards or something here to do with the connection, I'm getting that they have not given up. It's just that they keep working on little bits and pieces of whatever they need to work through at a time so it's like okay working on this part now and it's just it's almost coming through as like OCD-ish in a way where it's like over emphasizing the details thinking too deeply about certain details and so it just takes forever for them to sort that out and then they move on to like the next thing and then it's like every little detail for this part of this as well almost to the point where it can feel never ending. And it actually makes them feel like this is more difficult as well. Like it actually makes it more of a struggle. Um, I'm not sure if they realize that though. <clears throat> Let's see the Six of Pentacles. All right, 
have the Three of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, and Judgment. Okay, so it could be that this person has been stalling on making a decision because this decision is going to require... Did I say judgment? That's interesting because it's not judgment, it's the lovers. It's the lovers. Okay, so the Three of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, and the lovers. But I still feel like it's a decision here. So for some of them, there could be a third party. Um... And this person might need to make a decision concerning that. And whatever, but whatever it is, it's going to require a major change. And that change is going to be um, concerning what it is that they can provide, how much energy they put into something, how much they receive. It's almost like they feel like there might be a shift in the give and take. So they might be worried about how much can they provide. Or what are they going to lose <clears throat> from this? Either way, this person does have a lot of love for you. Okay, they're definitely feeling this connection very, very strongly, but there's some kind of awaiting just, and which doesn't surprise me because as I said, I feel like this person is um, over, over analyzing the details. I mean, they're doing something about it. They're working on it. But there's a little bit of a procrastination, almost like it's almost like they're doing this and it's like they're <laughs> they're planting the seeds in a way where it actually it's actually them bringing a little bit of resistance to that change. Because it's a way of procrastinating. OK, so now it makes more sense. But ultimately, we do have the magician. So let's see. Right, the Two of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. Yeah, so here's the thing. They are manifesting. They are manifesting something that they have a lot of clarity on. Okay, so it's not that they don't know what they want. This person knows exactly what they want. It's just that, that what, what it is that they want is a little difficult for them to manage. It's like it, it's it's like it's a challenge that is a little bit higher than what where their threshold is but there's a reason for that okay this is likely a challenge that they're meant to overcome and i do see them manifesting that but again i feel like there's just a little bit of um there's a little bit of back and forth as they manifest this because of over and analyzing the details but they are manifesting all right so <clears throat> let's see the empress for your energy in the near future, we have the Eight of Cups. Okay, so you're, I see you emotionally detaching. And emotionally moving away from this connection is what is going to make you feel like you're standing in your power. And it's going to make you feel really good. Um, and it doesn't mean that this connection is over. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I don't see it being over. But it's just that this emo emotional detachment at this point in time is something that is helping you to find that reinvention. And possibly even for them as well. Let's see the Seven of Cups for them. Right, the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, this person definitely is wanting a commitment. Um... Or is involved in another commitment. I okay. So you're emotionally detaching. I see this person still kind of weighing out their options. As I said, they are manifesting. There's a lot of love between the two of you. I just see them still a little bit in the energy of figuring things out. Still trying to find which option they need to take, which path they need to stick with in order to get to the commitment that they truly want, to the commitment that will have it all. Okay, let's see the Ten of Cups. Sorry, the King of Cups. King of Cups clarified by the King of Cups. Okay, plain and simple. There's a lot of love here, okay? Between the, the both of you. Um, to me, this definitely speaks 
about a, a potential here for the both of you to come together in love because it's just, it's there. It's there. And this is also emotional stability. So I feel like the more emotionally stable the both of you are, the closer that you come together to align these energies because it's like you're both in the King of Cups energy here. I feel like it's just a little bit of a matter of time for this person to just really figure all of these things out and stop overanalyzing the details. And then it's like, okay, bam, manifesting and love. So let's see the Knight of Swords for the message for you. The Seven of Wands. Okay, so <clears throat> this is action. Action met by <laughs> defensiveness. Okay, this speaks about boundaries. So if you've been thinking about taking action in a way where it would actually be setting boundaries, yeah, that's the message here. All right. And I do see I do see you doing that with this eight of cups here. Emotionally detaching kind of like, you know what, like I'm speaking my truth, I'm finding myself and what my authenticity is telling me is that I have self worth. And there are certain, you know, standards that I stick by, or stand by. So that is the message for you, you know, to have your have your boundaries. Set boundaries that represent your truth and what is true for you. What represents who you are. All right, Leo. So if this resonated, let's get your final message. And we have your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus. So yeah, you know, and if that plan is to set some boundaries so that you yourself can move forward and find that reinvention, that would be a practical plan, right? But take that message as it resonates. All right, Leo, thank you so much for watching and much love.